everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome fifth wheel. This one has a very unique bunk bed configuration. This is a 2021 Heartland Milestone 1 Model 28BH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the milestone and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's world's only channel giving you that true and unbiased review about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and toy hauler. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this very unique style bunkhouse from Heartland, the Milestone One. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. How to Will? Hey guys, how's it going? It's going good. We're still here in Charlotte. Yes. And uh, at RV One, huge thanks to them for letting us be here. Yes. And um, this is, like Matt said, this is a really cool, unique floor plan in a smaller fifth wheel. It's a little smaller, little stubby, or kind of like Matt. Yeah, a little small and stubby <laughs> like Matt. Will, let's begin. All right. Model is 28BH, milestone one. The actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 34 feet long. The dry weight is 9,335 pounds. And the pin weight, we don't know, but we're gonna have all the specs about this fifth wheel right here for everybody to see. This is the Heartland Milestone 1. It is not to be confused with a traditional milestone. There is some lesser features about this, which also makes it a lesser price point. Here's what's not lesser. The painted fiberglass front cap. Beautiful, nice, also, they still use the Trailair Rotoflex pin box by Lippert. That's a nice pin box exactly. right there. Exactly, one of the best pin boxes in the industry. Yeah. Coming on down the side here, we do have storage with the cutouts, Will. That wow, means it is prepped for a generator. That. Yeah. That's cool. It is, it is very neat. Coming on down the side here, Heartland, three year structural warranty. Propane tanks go there, and then you do have four point electric leveling, okay? Cool. This is the uh, Milestone 1 is a lot smaller than the traditional Milestone, right. so you don't need all that. Coming on down the side here, we do have okay storage on the outside. Yeah. For a smaller unit, Again, good. yeah, this is very small in terms of fifth wheels. We do have a power awning with LED lights, little awning, you know, little unit, and then here, it's a little refrigerator, okay? Cool. And then this here is a little cooktop. Okay, just, just a little Flame King cooktop right there. Very nice. And then look at these tires, Will, they're Trailer Kings. I love those. ST235-80R16. And we do have your water heater here. Nice windows, not frameless, um, but it's okay. And then coming on down the side here, we do have the Morite Step Above Steps. Now, because this is a milestone, they do use the Asdale for the sidewall composite. It's Asdale. Asdale, Asdale, <laughs> Asdale, Asbury. It's great stuff. It is a grain based material that will never delaminate on you or delaminate or whatever <laughs> you want to call it. Listen, guys, it's not about the pronunciation. It's about the fact that it works or it doesn't work. That's right. And Asdale works great. So does Asdale. <laughs> Also, you do have the WeatherGuard Optimal Thermal Protection Package, which is very nice. Coming around the back, we do have a nice receiver hitch. Rated for 300 pounds of vertical weight. Do not tow behind this. It's not made for towing. No ladder to get up on the roof. Uh, the regular Milestones have it. The Milestones one don't. But you do have the prep for the Furion backup camera. Cool. Coming around the side. Oh, check this out. Uh-oh. Very nice, like a travel trailer. Yeah, that's Very pretty cool. Very cool, yeah. And it that flips, flips up. up. It flips up this way. Oh, I love that. Great nice. storage. Really nice storage. And I again, want to put it back down because it might be hard. Oh, no. No, you just push. Yeah. Gravity always works in our favor, Will. That's right. And then, I'll, you know, just like a travel trailer, and you don't normally see this on fifth wheels, right here, 50 amp power cord connection. And then finishing up with the driver's side. Okay. Here's where you dump your tank. And then, look, I like this. It's all your hookups. Yeah. Black tank flush, 
City water connection, outdoor shower, potable water fill. Potable, potable. Very nice. And then here's just where another propane tank goes. There you go. Well, well, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. <laughs> All right, we'll start up front and then work our way back. Up front here, you got the bedroom. Coming along down the side is that bathroom. And then towards the back, we got a kitchen, dining area, living area, and all the way in the back is the bunk room. Hi Will! Hi! Could you see me back here? I could, but the, I don't think the camera could. Nice. Okay, inside the bunk area. Very cool feature right here, Will. Yeah? A little door. Oh wow! The door's also the ladder. Cause I tried to move this, little skinny kids can fit through, fatter people can't like me. But you do have this door, really cool feature. That is cool. Top bunk up here, 300 pounds. And again, as demonstrated, that bed does fold up for right. optimal amounts of storage. Right here, we do got storage right here. Storage there. With the drawer right there, my brother. Nice. Right here, you do have the lipper component, touchscreen and everything. Very nice and interesting. And then over here is the living room area. Right okay. here. We do got the Thomas Payne collection. Mm. Do I feel some? Eject. Oh, there you go. I call these the parachute theater seats because you just pull up like that. Very nice. Something happens with those um, side arms too, I think. Nope. I think lower. Oh, right there. Oh, what is this? Gotcha. Let's oh, see. there you go. Hell yeah. Oh, and it's got USB. Psh. Uh, America. America. Yes, put your beer there. I love that feature. And then look at where, okay, so we got a nice big window right here, which is nice. Yes. Nice little side table, okay? Right. But look at where my TV position is. Okay. Not ideal. No. And it still might be one of our dislikes, Will. Okay. But I'm not super disliked about it because again, with this unit, it's one slide out. It's very small, very compact. This is supposed to be, they're stuffing a lot of action in here. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, yeah, I agree. Over here, show that TV and entertainment center. Right there. Yes, sir. And then we do got a little bit of storage. Cause you can never have enough. That's right. And then what is nice about the TV, it is on a swing arm. It does swing out either right, way. Right. Um, so you can certainly angle it. And then you do have an all right position from the dinette area. Okay. Now this dinette it is what it is as far as comfortability. You have a nice little Art Deco light fixture. Art Deco? No. Nice big windows, neutral balances. This does drop down to make a bed. And no carpet on that slide. Mm, it's like that outdoor patio yeah. style of material, Will. Well, Will, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. Huh. It shows on the Venn diagram. Let me do it this way that it was a U-shaped dinette, which oh, I actually would have liked. So I don't know what happened there. You dropped the ball on that one. MSRP on this unit here is $48,479, Will. On a fifth wheel? MSRP on a fifth wheel. Crazy. Sale price is an even crazier price than that, but uh, we're not advertising sale price on YouTube because the market's changed and everything. I'd pay MSRP for that. Oh man, well, so would <laughs> I. But here's what we're doing. You're not paying MSRP. That's right. Neither's anybody in America. We do have a special link down below that will take you to a contact form. It's either going to be Matt's RV Reviews or RV1 or something like that. There's a contact form down below. Follow the instructions. If you're interested in this fifth wheel, fill it out. Somebody from our team will get back to you. And you know what they're going to get you, Will? The best price in America. And that doesn't matter if you live in Maine, Florida, or California. They cover the whole United States, and they're doing special promotions for Matt's RV Reviews. That's right. So if you're interested, fill out our form, and they'll connect you with the closest dealership to you. Yes. Will, let's continue the video. All right. Sounds good. 
I, it's kind of a weird kitchen design, but I think I really like it for how short this unit is. Yeah. Well, first off, you can use this as kind of some kitchen space. Yeah. You got some drawers here. Okay. Couple there. Up top here, you got some storage above the sink. Very nice. Nice big window that does open. Okay. A faucet with a little spray thing. Yes, sir. Single bowl sink. Okay. Solid surface countertops. Very I'm impressive. Surprised at this price point. No, know? I'm impressed. Yeah. You nice little nice, storage. Some nice storage there. Right here, you got a high point microwave. But Hang I'm on a second, Will. What? The last travel trailer we did. No, we just did the free solo. Right. But the one before that was more expensive than this fifth so. wheel. Yeah, it's crazy. That's isn't it? crazy. I'm just putting that together. Uh, some storage up top. And storage. that was sticking tin. Right. Wow. No ass deal on that one. <laughs> uh, nice range hood here. Hood range. You got a three burner Furion cooktop with blue lights right there. Yes, sir. Got the oven. And check this out. Uh huh. For this size unit, to get Pretty a pantry nice. like that, yes, sir. that's awesome. Now, it does kind of cut into your kitchen. Some people might not like that. Personally, I don't care. Um, I wouldn't mind it, but, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's nice. Yeah. Uh, nice, I guess, like, maybe a mini coffee bar here. Yeah, just Not for, fit much more than a Keurig. Maybe like a Keurig. Yep. Yeah. But, well, there's... Yeah, yeah man. My phone doesn't work because I got a pop socket, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Does yours work? Here, here we, we go, go now. There we go now. That's nice, wireless charging. Right. And a little more storage down there. All right, here we have the Everchill compressor fridge. Yeah. Right behind us, which is really nice. Already getting cold, we love those. Mm -hmm. Put the drawer down below. Yes, sir. Oh, I think that's all right. Well, well, it's now time for the tall test. All right. And no promises on this one, guys. This yes, is a small, small fifth wheel. But for those of you who don't know, Will is six foot three tall. Okay, so they did something smart. Mm -hmm. No real step up. Good. So they might be in luck. But look how... Mm. It is small. But it's actually not terrible. And I don't actually, like how you have to duck in. Do you normally have to duck yes, in? Yes, that's normal. Oh, okay. I just never noticed. Um, There's actually plenty of height. I'm surprised. And there's enough width. Uh, you know, again, it's a small fifth wheel. Yeah, yeah, for the size. Right. It's not getting an A+, but it is going to pass. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. That's right. And then over here, well, we do got a nice little medicine cabinet. Okay. Okay. Solid surface countertops in the bathroom. Wow. Very nice. You know, just checking off boxes that you're just not familiar with in this unit. Right. And Will. Yeah. The streak is over. It is. So this is number five, and we finally got porcelain. Yeah, huh? we finally got porcelain for the day, y'all. Um, and let me tell you. It's not a prime poop position. Oh man. But wait, it's oh. not it's not, not a prime poop position. It's just not the primest. It's definitely borderline, but well. Yeah. Cause it's the first porcelain toilet of the day. <laughs> this is a prime poop position. Bing! Nice. And again, Jen, make that when Jen Jen, when you're editing this, make it a little small for America. <laughs> Cause it's not the primest. But again, whoa. Oh. Oh. Oh, the show was almost over. Milestone was almost giving us a but again, for the size of this, you know, it is Man, what it is. Sorry, this is a little complicated. Yeah, it's a little tight. <laughs> okay, into the bedroom. Oh yeah. Nice second AC unit in here. Wow. And then Will, this actually feels kind of spacious to me. It does, it's not terrible. Yeah, for especially for the size unit. If I can see the camera. Of course. Do you guys see somebody like Will, you know, if you're taller, walk that way, Will. Yeah, here I'm gonna hit my head for yeah, sure. Yeah, but... your head's definitely hitting, but yeah. um, but if you look at somebody like me, my head's in the clear the whole way. Right. Oh, you, know? uh, you do got a nice little bit of storage right here. Did we already get this? Nope. Okay. Or maybe we did. I, don't I can't know. remember. A little storage. Showed a little there. side thing. Good place for a CPAP machine and everything. Yeah. And again, I'm telling you, this feels a little different. Feels a little spacious. Washer dryer prep right here. Is it? Yeah. It sure is. And then here we can put a TV and everything. Very nice. Um, uh, over here, we do got storage underneath the bed. Sorry, lots of plastic. Yep. There we go. And then finally over here, well, there is definitely more space on this side than that side. I would agree. And then we got the little drawers right there. Cool. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about the milestone and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Um, let's do three things we dislike. You good with that? No. 
You want to do three things we like? No, I mean, no, what you've already said it will. Okay. So we're going to we're going to stick with it. Three um, dislikes is going to be hard, I think. Do you have one? Cuz I I can fit, tell you two. I mean, I mean, I got I got all three if you need it. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I'll, you ready? I'll, I'll add in a 3.5 if I don't like yours. Nope. You won't need to. You know why <laughs> I will cuz you're going to like it. Okay. First dislike is always a dislike. It's a given dislike. But I'm actually going to combo the, this dislike. The the sofa placement to the right, TV. Right, right. So here's how I'm going to combo it. One, the sofa would have been fine right there. Yes. But at the same time, the dinette would have sucked right there. Right. For I the hate U shape. It should be a U shape. Because yeah. then that could be a sofa lounge area as well with the U shape. I agree. That's dislike number one. Okay. I got a dislike number two. What is it? Follow me. Okay. I hate all these doors. These are all twisty locks. Right. When you get to the fifth wheel level, they should all be slam latch. For sure. My opinion, it is what it is. That is, you know, it is saving you money go, going to the twisty locks from the slam latch. But again, you know, this was at what, 48 MSRP? Yes. What's 49 MSRP? Exactly. But again, this is price point, so I'm not getting mad at that. So that's number two. And then number three is also a price point thing that I'm not getting mad at four point electric leveling right again this fifth wheel is cheaper than some of the travel trailers right especially since these are 2021s get them now get them hot right uh, because the 22s are going to be a lot more money because some of the 22 travel trailers uh were more money than this Absolutely, but yeah at the end of the day it is still a fifth wheel and six point electric leveling is fine it doesn't need to be the hydraulic you know what I'm saying? Right. But electric. You know, six points better than four points. Okay. Great. That's three things we don't like about it. Well, now it's time for three things we love about this fifth wheel. I'm going to go first. Okay. Just because we're lazy, this is the same floor plan. I love this door. I agree. I love how the bed flips up. I love how it's travel trailer-esque like. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Um, It's just smart storage. It's good placement. And I really do like this door. Absolutely. That's number one. Okay. Wheel number two. Mine's kind of a combo. Talk to me. But I love the fact that they got, in such a small fifth wheel, Yep. they got bunk beds and they got washer dryer prep. Very cool. You know, it's hard to get either one. I mean, washer dryer prep in something this small isn't very common. That's number two. And then Will. Yeah. I hate doing this, but I'm going to do this. Okay. The price point. I know. For what this right? is, for everything that you're getting, we hate doing that. We hate making it about price. You should never buy an RV based off of price. You should be buying it based off of features and amenities. But it's value for the price. The value for say. the price is awfully nice. Right. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Big shout out to RV1 in Charlotte, North Carolina for hosting us today. And again, they do sell these nationwide. Use our link down below. They know to give you the Matt Cash deal and they know to give you a phenomenal price. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course. Thank you all so much for watching. And again, um, like Matt said, huge thanks to RV1 of Charlotte for letting us record. Make sure, guys, uh, let us know down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much you. for watching. And Will, we, wait, 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 and Will, we made it with 3% left on the battery. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. And Will, we'll see you next time.